happy Friday! I look so crazy, but as I can see, the sun is loving it's your girl. I'm like, damn, you so fine, girl. What is your sign? She say I'm a Sagittarius. I'm a Capricorn, the beginning and end. I got a friend for your friend. Hey, I'm making all of this money to spend. Hey, I don't buy. We woke up in North Actually, we didn't wake up in North Carolina. We drove all the way from New York last night, 11 p.m. We arrived here at 7 a.m. So we are in North Carolina visiting my best friend. Festivities are already started. <laughs> Go say good morning to Brianna. Here's my nephew. He loves me so much. This is the proud owner of. <laughs> I was like, oh, okay. This is the proud owner of Lynn and Lee shop. Oh my gosh. This is me. Is this where all the magic happens? Yeah, but don't show nobody my stuff. I'm not. I don't think they can see that. <laughs> so my new seating area. Though. Oh, look at the seating area for any consultations. Even though we've had zero to date. <laughs> The case is here. here. Now the lighting in this house. Where's she? What, Daddy? Right in the bins. So yeah, right now it is 1:39 p.m. It's Friday. I didn't say it already. September 3rd. Actually, what I need to do is go upload my video. So let me go do that. So for some reason, I can't upload my video because my external hard drive is too full. I hate when that happens. Hi, baby. Found me. Daddy's. Boy boy. Daddy's what? Daddy's. But yeah, so anyway, the way that I can, I didn't know how to empty the trash of my external hard drive because I figured if I deleted the trash here, that's for my actual laptop. But it seems like it's all together because I have 220,153 items that are deleting. And I think it's still going. Yeah, crazy. Who's childless? <laughs> We left the kids screaming at home. Music to a mother's ears when you leave them with their father screaming. <laughs> Things is upside down. Sure was. So yeah, right now we're at Zaxby's. Which is like the thing down south. Is it the thing down south? Yeah. Because yeah. we don't own that up north. <laughs> I'm so excited. So we're about to watch these two fools race down the block. Do they call it a block in the south? Yo, we should do this shit drunk. They about to fight! <laughs> <laughs> so they both have on their crocs, right? One has it in regular mode. The other, get a little closer. The other has it in Yo, sport so with the strap put in the back. How am I annoying, babe? <laughs> your commentary, get that off <laughs> Where are we running to though? I don't know. You're not keeping um, oh, yeah, at the black car? Yeah. Where's the oh, this Toyota? <laughs> See you later. See you later. <laughs> Babe, you let him cheat you. Sometimes, because sometimes she'll make the noise and her Sanji. eyes be bone dry. You, you tired of crying? <laughs> Tell the camera, you tired of crying? <laughs> yeah? Look at yourself. Take, take a look at yourself. <laughs> yeah. Who am I? Who am I? Who am I? Oh. Are you in G Watch already? No, this is Rio. Oh. Thanks, I know this is Rio. This is home? Yeah, home. Oh, I saw this too. I watched two movies with it that day. This is when um they went to try to take over Earth or whatever. Where's Rihanna? Huh? Rihanna's in this. Huh? Rihanna. Yeah, she's the black girl. Good afternoon, guys. Today is Saturday, 1.33 p.m. And we are about to head out. First, we are going to a children's interactive museum. 
Then we'll see what the day takes us from there. Gianna Zoe's having some milk. You have an attitude? My cute daddy just laying here. Being a great support system while she drinks her milk. Hey guys, so we are now en route to the museum. The name of the museum that we're going to is called, I forgot, what do you remember the name of it? Something like Marbles or something is in Raleigh, North Carolina. I'm so excited for the girls to do it. Well, as you guys know, Friday is always date night and we always have like a com uh, car conversation. But today we're going we to do car conversation because we haven't had one in what, two weeks? A week? Two weeks? A week? Okay, a week. So the discussion of today is uh, you. I know you'll be lying. <laughs> so the topic of discussion today is do men. I mean, women don't love men unconditionally compared to how they love, they only love their children unconditionally. And you know, once again, we got this idea from an Instagram post, which I will post right here. All right, let's first clear up the definition of what unconditionally means. So unconditionally means without conditions or limits. Oh, kind of self-explanatory. Do I think that a woman can love her man unconditionally in comparison to her kids? Yes, I think so. I think what this person fails to realize is that there are certain things that a woman is going to expect from her man. Like, my child cannot cheat on me. I'm saying and although I will still love you unconditionally I will not still put up with your cheating ways and I will still not continue this relationship it doesn't mean I don't love you anymore it just means that I have to protect myself and I'm not gonna be in a relationship with somebody who constantly does not respect me I feel like when it comes to your child that's a different relationship so the actual question uh, okay so you would only love the man if he doesn't cheat no, I will still love you. I just won't stay with you. What? I can still love you but not stay with you. I don't think so. I think if so. You, if, you, if you still love the person, if you love the person, you won't leave. You'll stay. You'll work it out. No, because I love me more. <clears throat> Why do I have to keep going to bed at night crying? And My whole, the, the whole point of what I was trying to say is that is a condition. No. That is a condition. If you... if. If, if I could do something to change how you feel about me or to change how you love me or to leave me, that is a condition. I don't think loving you and staying with you are one and the same. Eventually, you'll stop loving me if you leave. Eventually, yeah, it's out of sight, out of mind. I mean, we got kids together, so... You're not gonna... Yeah, and then you're gonna fall in love with another nigga. So you can't... You can't love two people at the same time in that way, can you? Um, I'm not too sure. I've never been in that, ex in that situation uh, where I love two people at the same time. I don't think you can. So oh, why not? I feel like when you have, say, you have more than one kid, you could love each of Same. each of your kids. I'm saying that's why I said like that. It's a different. It's a different kind of love. So, you can lust for another person and have sex with multiple people, but I don't think you'll genuinely be in love because that kind of love requires a lot of attention and affection. And I don't think you can split that between two. I think you can. I don't know. Like I said, I feel like you in this situation are confusing the fact that I'm leaving with the fact that I don't love you anymore. At this point, I love me more. Okay. So, like I said, I'm not going to keep putting up with abuse, whether it's emotional, physical, or mental mm -hmm. abuse, to, to prove to you that I love you. All right, so let me ask you a question. What? If Gianna was to ever kill, would you stick by her? Yes. So, all right, so if your son was to steal from you today, would you still support him? Um, support would, would look different. Support is not going to be me turning a blind eye. Would you eye. stand by him? Stand by him? I don't know. I, I, okay, and, all right, let me ask you a question before I rebuttal. Would I stand by him? No, because at this point, there is something, there's going to be a barrier because, again, I have to protect myself. Do I stop loving my child? No. It's just certain stuff. I just won't bring you around me with certain, when I have certain things around, certain people around. I just know how to deal with you. I know how to move with you. Does it diminish my love for you? No. But I have to know that I have to protect myself and those okay, around so what if I was to start stealing from you? 
if you were to start stealing from me again, I know I would have to protect myself. Okay, all right. Okay, I changed my answer. If you were to steal from me, I think I would leave you. But again, I mean, see, that's what I'm trying to say. It's like, I know I would leave you, but I feel like I would be so hurt because I do love you and I don't want to leave you, but like you have this bad tendency about you. So it's a condition for me, but there's no condition for your son. I said the same. No, you didn't say you would leave your son. You said you'll still support him, but the support would look different. You would love him the same way and maneuver just maneuver different, protect your money, put it in different places, put it in a bank, put it in a safe. You know what I'm saying? You would move different. If it was me, you leave. That is a condition. But it's also two different relationships. I get that. I understand that. The point is, women don't love their husband unconditionally. Whether you say you will still love them or not, eventually you'll fall out of love with this person once you leave. Because it's not unconditional. If your son leaves you today and you never see your son again, you will still have that love in your heart for your son. That's unconditional love. If I left today, in a year's time, you'll be with another nigga. Because All right. All it's, right. it's not unconditional. All right, I do change my answer. I do feel like women will always love their kids unconditionally. And I feel like that is a great thing because y'all niggas need to be kept on y'all motherfuckers' toes, okay? Yeah, I really feel like that's just the way the world is. Yeah. That's, that's just the way women are and the way men are. I'm saying it sucks for men. But, but, but. As a man, you gotta take it on the chin and roll with the punches and use it to, to be better. And you gotta, play your part, that's it. Just gotta... And don't put me in a position where now I gotta put my kid above you. Not you, that, that's not, I'm saying men in general. I, I'm just saying like, that's whatever. That's what? Cause again, that, that's like not I said, the topic is my point. I'm talking about I'm not, conditions. Cause yeah, I but I'm not saying that the topic isn't do women put their kids above their man. I feel like that's where it leads to. No, I, I just think it's about the topic is who loves who unconditionally. Okay, so I do change my mind. I do believe that women, compared to men, women love their children unconditionally compared to their man. You got it. I know. That is that on that. Please comment down below. Let me know what y'all feel some opinion about that is. Do you think that women love their children unconditionally and they don't love their men unconditionally? Let me know. Comment down below. Let me know if you think a man can love a woman unconditionally. Because, I, again, I don't think so. Because the same way, in the beginning, I could say yes and no to certain questions that Caleb had asked me about would I still love my kid or would I still love my man, is the same way I just said, yeah, but if the woman was to cheat, he'd be like, oh, no, but that, that's the one thing. So then no, it's no, just no, conditions. No, 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 no. I said we're done. No. So you can't continue after you say you're done and don't expect me to get a bottle now. I think that's just for me. I can't be with somebody that just cheated on me. I just can't take that shit emotionally. Of a man, Aww, can't. Baby. She me all oh, baby. Would you cry? I don't know. I don't know. I probably don't even say it. I stop. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, so we will see you guys when we get to the museum. This is a crazy conversation to have before we go to a Hi, Nova. Hi, pretty girl. <laughs> <laughs> Big body. Daddy's being silly. You would know. You're Santa. Yeah. That's so cute. You could dress them up. You said you're Santa. Accurate depictions. 
of what my last nerve looks like. So don't talk about me like that, mommy. Thank you. Let me get Say hi, guys. I'm gonna be big hey. you. <laughs> Say hey, Ashi. And I'll be right back. So we are at the what the Raleigh Times. It's a cute restaurant. Look how cute it is. It's this storefront. Three stores down. Really cute. And the outdoor seating is so spacious. Nothing like New York. And the <laughs> first of all, Caleb challenges these little kids to fo First of all, Brandon, we don't need to be on the side Because what are we they're going to throw it Oh, this way, okay I don't know where we should go, but I'm scared <laughs> Yo, I'm so weak I'm going to get it doesn't fucking matter! Yeah. I think it's still gonna lose! Boom! Boom! <laughs> I'm not taking shit out of my pocket! Nothing! Who didn't sign my ticket shit out of my pocket? Make sure you collect my key things! I like it! I want you! Yeah, yeah! Ready? Three, two, one! What yeah. the hell? Yeah! 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 He doing sign language back here. <laughs> they over there playing cat and mouse. Wait, the car! Nah, y'all. That was probably the funniest thing just now ever. Those niggas got no respect. <laughs> I'm a grown ass man. He like ten talking about shut such your old, old ass, ass up. up. <laughs> I almost put him over my knee. Then the other one called Akeem, boozy badass. Honestly, I'm gonna let that go. When we go in the house, I'm gonna put the camera on. Like, right, I'm like boozy. What's good? All right, madam. Lunch was okay. I like the atmosphere. We had one cool ass server. I wish I would have recorded him. He's mad cool. His name was Sam, and he works at where is this again? The the Raleigh something. I forgot. I think I told you earlier. He was mad cool. Our other waitress is mad cool. Her birthday's in 20 days. Shout out to you, girl. Right now, we are on our way home. And we're going to hopefully play some games. I pray to God that Gianna just plays with Nova. And I yeah, know my saying. And leave me to hell alone. Oh, there goes the Big Easy. That was the other place. I like it over here. I like Raleigh. Shout outs to anybody who lives in Raleigh, North Carolina, North Carolina. We out here. I want to move to Raleigh. No, you don't. Why? I like this. It's like the city, but like less congested, less dirty. I like it. I told you Texas is where it's set. I'm not going to Texas. You don't know Texas. That's why. Gianna and Nova some food. 
mainly Gianna, but Nova's gonna taste some. And if she likes some, I'll make us some more. So we got some quinoa and brown rice that Brianna bought because she does not read. So this is it. And then here, we have some steamed vegetables, which is the steamed Asian medley from Season's Choice. Good afternoon. It is 3.16 p.m. I feel like time is going by so slowly. So we had breakfast. I edited. I should have a vlog. I mean, yeah, self-care vlog uploading today. And right now we are outside. Wow, your backyard is really huge. Thank you. I wish we had a... Um... It's crazy. I was going to buy Nova this thing. It's like a slide and a swing. Mm -hmm. But the swing wasn't like a sit down. I feel like she was going to fall off of it. Oh, like they just yeah. yeah. And I wish they would have had both. But yeah. So Miss Thing is so cranky. She is teething. Which I did not know until I realized last night. She has a tooth coming out. Which explains why the high pitched screaming and the extraness. So I don't know if pool time is going to be even existent let's see but miss nova here is a voib i'm sorry i'm sorry i was cold i know i know i know it's cold it's cold it's cold it's cold, it's cold. Oh, whatever the fuck yeah i don't know i'm killing my hand me either i'm crying i did not know that Bree set us up with the um mom <laughs> The mom bay watch chairs. The, um, the mom Capri Sun. <laughs> the mommy Capri Sun. Please get me water. Gotcha. I'll pass the... Oh. You want it in like a thing with ice? Oh, please. That would be so good. It's really the two pieces for me. Mm -hmm. Oh, Gianna's heat rash is coming back. <laughs> yep. Look at you, cute girl, Nova. <laughs> Nova, you gonna get your belly pierced? <laughs> so when I'm 21. <laughs> Bad Yao G. I'm glad to see you in a better mood, my love. Thank you. Yeah, because it's hot. Oh. So the water, you know? Because when it comes to reality, it'll be cold. Look, put it on, put it on his arm. Why she got a scarf on her head? I just put it on. No, particularly. You gotta flip it this way, boo-boo. This yes. way. Ooh. Why are you not walking, G? Walk. Nova, Gigi, Nova, and Gigi. Nova and Gigi, oh. having fun, baby? Let me get them on the gram. Okay. Good, Nova. <laughs> Nova's still drunk from last night. <laughs> you was drinking, Nova? She's trying to get out. It's like, where you going, though? Try to get her banjo. Her face be so unbothered. No, ma'am. No, ma'am. No. No, thank you. No, thank you. She figured out what she wanted to do. Oops, sorry. No, 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 no. That's Gigi's. That's Gigi's passy. No, he doesn't have a passy. Go in the pool. Oh, you guys get music at the pool. <laughs> music at the pool. You said, what the fuck? But you're too cold. I don't know. Hi. <laughs> It is 7.39 p.m. It is Monday. Happy Labor Day. We are back home from North Carolina from visiting my best friend. Yeah, I'm so glad you're in better spirits. Gianna was on a thousand this weekend. I think it was like a combination of being in a new environment and she's teething. But as soon as we step back home, she's back to her normal self. Okay. I'm happy because I don't think I could deal with that another day. But we left last night at 11 p.m. and we got home at 7.30 a.m. Comical ride, but road trips, not for me. That'll end this summer vlog in North Carolina. I think this might be my last summer vlog. What'd you say? 
<laughs> but I love you all and I will see you in the next one. It's been real. See, it's been real.